Stan Gibalisco here uh, with a little addendum to my video called Crystal Oscillator Circuit, which you will find on my YouTube channel by simply typing that phrase in there in the search box for my channel, Crystal Oscillator Circuit. If you have seen that um, video, then you should see this one too, because there's a mistake in that circuit. And here's the way the circuit looks, basically. Uh, in that video, it is a uh, pretty much stolen from my book, Beginner's Guide to Reading Schematics. Uh, and I will um, provide a link to Beginner's Guide to Reading Schematics in the description of this video. So if you're interested, you can go look at it on Amazon and decide whether you might want to buy it, even though there's this error in figure 4-20 on page 79. Uh, this circuit is basically lifted from that one, and it also applies to my video called Crystal Oscillator Circuit. There's a mistake in there. And after over 12,000 views, someone finally caught it. And what do you suppose that mistake is? Well, here's the crystal, Y1, which provides feedback from the drain of this field effect transistor. That feedback goes through the rest of this circuit, and keeps that thing oscillating as long as this telegraph key, S1, is closed so that 12 volts will be supplied to the circuit. Well, supposedly it will oscillate, but it won't because there's a component missing. And what do you suppose that component is but a venerable radio frequency choke, which I have taken the liberty to include in this diagram, and I will move it right in here. So what I'll do is I'll just delete this and move the radio frequency choke in the place of that dead short. With that dead short there the way that it was, the problem was that, um, well, let's see now. i got to resize this now to make it fit again. With a dead short there like that, when you close this key, the feedback loop's going to be grounded at one end, the drain's going to be grounded, and that is going to keep this circuit from oscillating. It will short the feedback loop to ground, but if you have a radio frequency choke that will keep that radio frequency energy at this frequency provided by the crystal from going back into the power supply. You see, the problem is that most power supplies uh, the, are dead shorted to ground uh, through the positive voltage. In, in other words, when you provide a radio frequency signal back here, for radio frequencies, the positive power supply uh, terminal is dead shorted to ground because of the filter capacitors in the power supply. But this radio frequency choke can be included in there, and then that will allow the direct current to reach the circuit, but keep the alternating current from the crystal from uh, being shorted to ground. The signal, f say 7 megahertz, whatever circuit, to uh, frequency you want to use, it'll keep that from being dead shorted to ground. So after 12,000 views, someone finally noticed that, and it's also an error, and it applies to my book, Beginner's Guide to Reading Schematics. Once again, I will provide a description uh, to that book, in the uh, a guide to the how to get there in the description of this video. I'm a little absent-minded this morning. It's pretty cold outside, and I'm still trying to wake up after swimming and then warming up. I mean, now, who in their right mind swims when it's below zero Fahrenheit outside? Except it's an indoor pool. But it's cold. The sun is warm, makes me sleepy, and then I make a video like this, and I'm having trouble. Well, never mind. You get the gist of this. And the, the other point here is I will link to this video from the original video Crystal Oscillator Circuit so that hopefully you will, uh, if you're watching that video, you will get a chance to watch this one as well, so I don't have to actually edit the video, which would probably kill its popularity, because that's the way YouTube works, or doesn't work. Whatever. Stan Gibalisco signing off from the black holes of Dakota Territory, United States of Advertising. Until the next mistake comes along for me to report to you, so long.